Is it a problem, Vivuti, that coal is still dominant in India? And can or is there such a thing as clean coal and clean coal technologies, carbon mitigation goes hand in hand with that, carbon capture, sequestration, or is it ultimately a, or, or a contradiction in terms? Does coal have to go? All right, it's a tricky question. Definitely coal is still the mainstay. We, about 44% of our installed capacity is still coal and 70% of our generation is coming from coal. But regarding clean coal, um, I think uh, we have, CCS has been existing for long, for years now. And we have not seen the kind of benefits that have been kind of, I would say, uh, expected and the costs have not gone down over the years. It's a very, very expensive way of cleaning your coal. And whereas if you'll see the uh, price trajectory of renewables, which have gone down substantially, and now mm. renewables along with storage, even the storage costs are going down substantially. So if we really have limited financial resources, I would say if we are really committed uh, in terms of cleaning the environment, making sustainable energy choices, I would rather pay, uh, you know, put my bets on renewable plus storage than CCS, which has been still unproven, still very cost expensive. So, yeah. Yes. Understood. Vibhuti, where is uh, India with transitional technologies and what role will LNG play as a transition fuel? Again, 2014, we play, uh, India has put a lot of emphasis on use of uh, gas as a transitory fuel. That time, the prices were very low. But in the last couple of years, the huge price volatility that we have seen in the LNG market, uh, it's, it's a very expensive choice. We have seen that despite the opportunity for a lot of industries uh, of using LNG, but the price competitiveness has hold them back. They are not able to use LNG as a fuel because the, uh, they become uncompetitive uh, compared to other players in the market. So uh, again, can we really bet on LNG as a transitory fuel? Probably not because of the price volatility and the high prices that we have seen in the LNG market again. And it again exposes us, India does not have its domestic gas. Then putting a lot of emphasis on, energy, uh, on LNG again exposes us to all the geopolitical risks that we are seeing uh, in as far as our dependence yes. on uh, LNG importing countries are concerned. And renewable is something which we do domestically in-house. So, yeah. From energy security perspective also it doesn't make sense. Understood.